Hey friends, remember when I told you about Scott Pratt um, that I knew that the roots were fine and um, it had a problem with its tip. I had took off the inflow and sorry for that. Um, I took off the inflow. What, what I realized um, later that evening I had stem rot and it started to uh, grow um, on the side here the bottom of the pot and bone if you can see it carefully I don't have that much space and I, what I did decide to do is trim off to where there is good growth so I'm going to destroy this, this whole thing is destroyed and I took a piece and this is what it looked like that's, that's not good so this whole thing, this whole pot right there is going down to waste and uh, I kept what I felt is worthwhile trying to grow are these two pieces. This is the top part which is okay. I checked the, the roots I mean not the roots, the um, stem and I dipped it in some um, hydrogen peroxide using a cotton ball Then what I did here is dip it in um, sand. So I have two pieces of Scott Pratt growing um, now in the sand. It's going to be there for a few days until it heals and cures. Uh, probably by tomorrow it will dry up and then I will repot it in a different type of pot and keep it indoors. So that's what happened. Stem rot. And that's why the inflow, I lost the inflow. So there it goes again. Here we go. I hate losing plumerias but it happens occasionally with stem rot. And sometimes you, I can catch it if I pay attention. It's just like with orchids. You got to every day check it. Well, with plumerias, every day you got to check your branch. Make sure you don't see the uncommon or on, uncurring uh, events like stem rot. They do suffer with stem rot. And I think that's because of the cold temperatures and cold, chilly um, rain waters. Which is why I made that video for you to protect your tropical plants. Because occasionally the temperatures may sound right, but the wind chill makes a huge difference. Okay? So keeping my fingers crossed that I can recover this. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Hi guys. This is Andre again. Um earlier today I told you about Scott Pratt, how I had the stem problem. Now I just wanted to show you something um that I noticed. Today's a Saturday, June the sixth. And uh I cut this earlier about three, four hours ago. And so far right now if you could look carefully, you see a wet tip. It is trying to live. It is trying to push out nodes at the same time. Um, this cutting, I'm going to pot it tomorrow in some soil, in cactus soil, and I'm going to leave it indoors. Um, it appears to me, and from my experience over 10, 12 years with plumerias growing it in the northeast um, area of uh, our country, um, I noticed that when we have temperatures that dip low into the um, degrees of like 50 degrees, 45 degrees Fahrenheit, what happens normally is we have a, a wind chill factor. Um, and normally if, you t if the temperatures are in the 50s and uh, like early 50s or mid 50s, sometimes the wind chill factor takes a toll on these guys and that's where the problem becomes, um, you know, apparent. This is the other piece of Scott Pratt. I'm going to also put that in a pot, separate. Sometimes um, also when it rains, the rain actually brings in the cold temperature. Temperatures from the north, Canada is right above us, and that wind chill produces uh, a different temperature for the plants and not for us people. So consider that important when you're taking care of tropical plants in the northeast region because it does uh, these plants are very temperament they're very temperament and you don't want to lose them you know I'm so disappointed right now at this but I'm hoping and keeping my fingers crossed that I could save these little beauties because Scott Pratt is such a beautiful red velvety um, plumeria flower it has a cinnamon scent cinnamon scent and it's very very pretty I got rid of the, the mother plant. She had roots. The roots were thick, beautiful, gorgeous, but the stem problem um, occurred and that was my fault. I should have brought the plant indoors when I had the heavy rains. 
But again, like I said, heavy rains and the wind chill factor all takes uh, consider take those into consideration when you have tropical plants growing in our region. Okay, so I just want to keep you up to date on that. And forgive me for this. I'm not in prepared mood um, to take a tape, but here is the tea I bought her in as well. I left her indoors. She's going to stay in there until we know our temperatures are at a steady pace of above 50s and not have the wind chill factor um, that's like 40s or 30s. Okay, so thank you for watching and uh, keep, keep your fingers crossed for my and my plants. See you soon. Bye.